Eric, thanks so much. Now at 5.30, an artificial intelligence tool is taking the world by storm. You might have heard about it already. It's called ChatGPT. Yeah, this bot can write entire research papers or answer almost any question in a matter of seconds. WBC's Brandon Truitt gives us a glimpse. Mr. Speaker, I stand here today because I am planning to reintroduce the United States-Israel Artificial Intelligence Center Act. It might look and sound like any old speech on the House floor, but this one from Massachusetts Congressman Jake Auchincloss is historic. They are not intelligence in the way that humans conceive of it. This speech is the first written by chat GPT, an artificial intelligence tool used to answer questions, write reports, or create stories. It's free to use and works like this. You type in a prompt. I wanted a hundred words on the popularity of Dunkin' Donuts in New England. Within seconds, it spits out a well-crafted, human-like response. The company is clear, though. Chat GPT is not perfect, nor can it be depended on for accuracy, but it's a start. What these are are models with more than a trillion parameters that predict the next word in a sentence or the next pixel in an image. They are incredibly good at that and getting incredibly better but they are prediction engines. They are not intelligence. ChatGPT has been in the headlines this week. The AI tool recently passed a Wharton School of Business exam, all by pasting the prompt in the search bar and hitting enter. AI to me is an enormous force for good. Vinkat Srinivasan has been studying the AI space for more than 30 years. He compares this current societal reckoning to when the scientific calculator came out in the 70s. The debate then over whether calculators should do the work or humans by hand. Schools settled on both. Vincat believes AI could change the mold of education. Could examine the questions that they are developing. Right. You, you, I could, you could even imagine a scenario where your test is not the essay, but it's the series of questions you ask. And Vincat says that this is just the beginning. There's already evidence that AI is proving helpful in predicting drug efficacy, even solving missing persons cases. There's still a long way to go, but experts say AI is here to stay. Brandon True at WBZ News. We're going to have to embrace it and move on. Absolutely.